Previously on The Stanley Parable. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? Oh, jeez, man. What, what, what do you freaking want from me? You just want me to follow your every whim? Fine. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Yeah. What could Stanley it mean? decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I don't think a memo is going to describe what happened here. Left when door. Stanley he went to the... To Jesus Christ, doors, man. He entered the door on his left. Yeah, he did. Jeez. Meeting room ain't nothing yeah, here, Jackal. No Tips for not getting fired. Either. Feeling a wave of Synergize it! Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find enough coming to a staircase. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Yeah. Oh. As as posh. As nice. As some bathroom. Okay. Oh, alright. It's a, it's um it's a reasonable chair. It's a nice place to sit and wait while someone plugs away at a uh, the computer. And um you have some coffee while you wait. Some tea. That reminds me of the potted plant from like Counter Strike Source. You're, like sitting there with your AK some will come around, they might not see you, just like, BAP BAP! In the face. Because it's the AK. You always burst it. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded oh. the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. What? And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Oh, okay. 2845. But, but of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. 2845? Okay. 2845. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. That is amazing, considering your voice in my head. Also, that is the icon for the Stanley parable. It's on my desktop. The suit. Well now. I suppose we're um we're going down. Did you spark at me? Alright. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself. To question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Oh, it blew up. Okay. Well. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. D you mentioned this at the very beginning. Something about mind control and a game about a baby. Well, there was definitely a game about babies. Here we are. Mind control. I mean... Next time. Next time. The deep room. Very dark. I can see stuff coming off the edge. Very dark. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did uh, he have the strength to find out? Indeed. 
Huh. I mean, just imagine the, how expensive this room would be. Now the monitors oh. jump to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Holy crap. This is some Orwellian Big Brother shit. Where am I in all this? Oh, 427. Four, oh, there, right, right there. Employ 427. Yep, that is Stanley's office. Wow. Well, those two are fired. That's a shame. All right. What's next? This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? It's the only way I could be happy in such a job. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Huh? Never. It was unthinkable. Well, Wasn't it? Was no, it even possible? Uh, Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Well, I mean, Stanley's hands are kind. I, I'm in control. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. You're making a lot of assumptions. Maybe Stanley is not such a good dude. And now he sees an opportunity to seize power, seize control from something he doesn't fully understand, mind you, but, um, you know, maybe. Big red button. Aw, I can't push it. Okay, all right, that's cool. That says five. I'm gonna push it. I did it. Yeah, there's another one up there. Yeah. Three. I want... Oh, okay, there's two over here. Well, let's do a little Japanese lesson, shall we? One. Itchy. You could also say itch. Itch. Ni. San. The four is tricky. There's two different ways to do four, and I'm not certain which one's appropriate, but I learned for four. Chi. Now, yon is also a, f a four as well. I And I don't know which one's more appropriate in this context. Five, AKA, go. As in, time to go. Mind controls idle. Awaiting input. That's a boot up screen. Imagine watching a movie on that. Amazing. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Again, you are making a lot of assumptions. Maybe Stanley's an awful person and he just wants to seize power. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate <laughs> the controls, did you? 
<laughs> After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is it's that what you wanted? Mine. Control? It's mine. Oh, Stanley, I help your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. Huh? You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If well. you want to throw my story off track, you're what? going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. What? In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, uh, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating uh, the entire complex. We better get out of here. Detonation, then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Huh? Ah, now this is making this a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? Oh. It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame I... we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, I... where we're going. What all this I think we got a boogie. I barely know where to start. What's that? Oh my god. You'd like to know where your co workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll what? tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock right now. These are precious additional seconds. Damn it. Time doesn't grow on trees. I, oh dear me, what's the matter? What am I doing? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Yeah, Did a little bit. Did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it on? I mean, look at you. Running Kinda, from yeah. button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this big ribbon. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley. Oh dear. You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. Damn it! This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stan. Probably the right That's choice. 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Damn it. Another choice. Make it. Uh... Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say goodbye. Huh. Ooh. S still in one piece? Everything is? Well, fancy that. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Surprise it's taking me this long to make this equation, but it's like a 
twisted D and D Groundhog's Day with a kind of uh, agitatable GM. Wait, I don't remember this hallway. Ah, okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Indeed, he did. I suppose this time we'll turn off the machine rather than be a uh, corrupted d bag. Yet there a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Not again! I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. No, man. Broom closed Bala. Close that door. We're just gonna stand here. Well, that was fun. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Yep. Uh, uh, Stanley is a good man, and uh, uh, this power doesn't belong to any one group, person, or organization, and therefore must be destroyed. I broke it. Blackness, and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? That's what I was asking. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Wowzers. Yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where yeah. had his co-workers gone? Yeah. How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? Yeah. What other mysteries did this strange building hold? Yeah. But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. Yeah. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life well. he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It Is... was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Is this just like at the top of a skyscraper? Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way right now that things were meant to happen i'm not in control and stanley was happy good job stanley you're a good dude i beat the game the end is never the end is never the end oh i i suppose we're still here okay all right Sure. Fine. There's still things to be done. Granted... Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just well, a matter of time. I think we established that, um... You, uh, made them go away. You're like some kind of, uh... GM or DM, depending on your flavor, giddy with power. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Sure did. 
Because we are good players. We do what we're told. Right up until we don't. Yet there was not a single person here either. Yep, they Feeling all synergized too disbelief, hard. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. My broom closet. No. I... Mm, I found so much joy in there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Yeah, yeah, some tea, have fun, synergize, yeah, 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 yeah. The moment he entered his manager's office, Stanley froze in his tracks. Not a living soul anywhere. Could he really be all alone? Yeah. This was too much for Stanley to take. Too much for any man to take. He fell to his knees, bursting into half moans, half sobs, uh, the guttural uh, retching of life from a man denied any hope, any reason to keep going. Uh, Here on the floor, he lay prone, paralyzed uh, by fear for nearly a full hour. Uh, but when at last he began to move about and survey the situation, he found a keypad behind the boss's desk. He what sure did. did it mean? Was it a sign of hope for Stanley's future? Alas, it was not. For although this keypad guarded the terrible secret of Stanley's past, it had been assigned a four-digit code so devious and so random that no man could ever hope to guess it. 2845. Statistically, nearly impossible to guess blindly ever. Yeah, except I just wrote it down. 2845. That's not right. Ew. Eight, four. Stanley just sat around, yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Yeah, lucky Amazing. him. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Good job. Kablam! Let's go on down, you and me, together, this old town. Okay, this time different. We're doing different. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. You'd think so, wouldn't you? We gonna escape. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. What? Uh... Well... The alternative is walk out into a meadow or meet a violent death. We've done those. So I guess alternative violent death? The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Yeah. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? All right. That's cool. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. I mean, at this point, Stanley's afraid of no ghost, you know? He's gonna tango with the worst of them. Come out on top or bottom, whatever. He's open. You don't need to be a top. He could be a bottom. Stanley's just that kind of guy. Huh? Well. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Yep. Okay. God, what was the number? Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. All right. We're on board. We're um, on the same track, Mr. Narrator. Yeah. Cut the fluff. We've all seen it before. Skip to the meat of it. Am I right? I'm right. 